welcome into Rock Painting 101. Um, I posted a couple rocks yesterday and you all voted and we're going to be doing this dangle style cross rock. And this would be beautiful to do for an Easter themed rock or really any time of year. I put that in the, in the post above. You can make this for any reason, but um, I wanted to do something like this for Easter. So I'm just gonna dive right in and get started. Um, when you're putting something specific in a dangle project, I suggest adding that first because you want the rest of your design to flow around that piece. So I'm just gonna start, and today I'm using my extra fine post guide. I do have my little minis over here for doing touch-ups later, but since this is a bigger rock than the one that I have next to me, I'm going to be using these. Now a tip when you're doing your dangles is you want the outside edge to be what you want it to look like. Don't worry about the inside. If you mess up, just shape the outside of your line because you're gonna fill all of this in with color and you won't see the inside. So see, like, I want that to be a bit bigger. That's fine, I'm gonna go in and make it just a smidge bigger. And it's okay that that right side of the cross is thicker because I'm going to color it in anyways. So just from that spot, I'm gonna complete this dangle and we're gonna do everything around this to complete it. So I'm gonna refresh my screen so I can see y'all's comments while I make this into a dangle. So we're gonna go up, add a heart maybe on here too. And we're gonna work our way all the way up near the top and we'll, we'll hook it onto something eventually up here. A couple pieces underneath. There we go. Just like so. Okay, so we have our main dangle there. Now we can go in and create what everything's coming down from. But that main one you want to do first. And that way everything can kind of work around it. And you're not crowding your main design at the end. So, hi Nancy and Teresa and Kaya, I believe that is. Thanks for joining in. So I'm gonna start here at the top, the highest point. Since I'm working on a rock, I'm not gonna just have a horizontal line. So the way that I like to fix this is I almost do a, a curtain, I guess you could say, effect, where you find kind of a couple points to attach. You can kind of come down to the side and loop back up. It kind of reminds me of curtains. And then you can kind of dangle its way down. Now I have a big hole or dent in my rock here, so I'm gonna stop that dangle there so we don't fall into that pit of a hole. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. A couple spots where it's gonna attach and just let it kind of drape. You can attach like that and then have that dangle. And again, when you're doing these, don't worry about the inside lines. We're gonna color them in and we also can add some more detail to it. So we've got our basic outline, I guess you could say, um, to this dangle style rock. And now we're just gonna start getting whimsical and adding in more dangles and designs. So anywhere that it's hanging down and drooping down, you can add one. I always just like to think that the bottom piece is heavy. So even if you want to loop, so say you have one coming down here, if you want to loop to the side, that's okay, as long as you loop it and it's still hanging down when you're done. And then you can loop it back in the other direction if you want and then have it hanging down. As long as at the bottom, I always like to have something near the bottom, you know, that kind of makes it seem like that's pulling it down low. So we're going to add maybe a couple more. We can add a little diamonds, hearts, lots of different things, lots of different designs, just shapes that we can use to color in and add little pops of color. They don't all have to go down really low either. And you can easily have dangles coming off of your dangles as well, like this one over here where we did that just have something that's coming off the edge here. You can just add a couple little circles. And it's okay, if you can't make a circle, just make a dot because you'll be able to cover that black easily with your other. Nancy, you said you haven't tried these yet. Well, maybe this will be the one that gets you to try them out. They're so much fun to do because there's no specific outcome that you have to have. I mean, you can literally create any style dangle you want to. Um, there's no right or wrong ways about doing these. And you can add little pieces at the top. You can connect your dangles together, which is kind of fun, um, by just kind of making a couple lines that attach. And you can go in and add a little bit of color to that later, like that. You can have 
you know, two itty bitty ones right next to each other, little dangle buddies at the top. They don't go that far down, but they attach together like that. There's so many ways that you can do these. So I'm just gonna keep kind of going along and adding some fun designs. You can have them just kind of curl up like that. And then have it come down. We'll add a little piece at the bottom of that one. And you can always add more dangles too. So sometimes I'll do a good amount of set like this I'll come in and start adding colors, and then I'll decide, mm, I want to add some more in this area or that area. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding some color to these. So today I'm just going to use the same color palette that I did here. I like having the red inside the hearts. That really makes them pop. Um, and I think for this rock, it's important to have some hearts mixed in. And then I, I just like the blue combination with it. So but any colors, anything you have. Um, I'm also using the 1Ms or extra fine tips for these as well. And as always, I'll, I have a link above to where you can grab all these supplies on our website that we have up. And if you haven't checked out the website yet, head on over there. We've been working really hard to get a lot of the tutorials up over there and you can pin them on Pinterest and things like that too. So this goes the same rule as when you are doing your outlines. Don't be over I don't want to say over careful. I mean, take your time. But if you go over your edges, we're going to go back in and clean those up one more time. So just go ahead and fill in your designs. And I kind of like to bounce around between colors, but I, I, I do want my hearts to be red. So I know that I'm going to start there. So I'll get all my hearts red. And that's not nearly enough hearts, I can tell already. So I'll go back and add some more in a little bit. And then we'll start with our light blue. So you just kind of toggle around with your other colors that you're using. And you can just bounce from one dangle to another and spread the color out. And see like this one here, it's almost filled in completely with black. But once we go in and add our dot here of our light blue, it's perfect. So don't worry if you can't do circles while you're doing your dangles, just do black dots. And then you're just gonna make a colored dot on top of it. I'm going to color in a frame here. Sorry, got to peek every once in a while. These ones I have to get kind of close since there's some smaller detail. I'm kind of holding the rock out in front of myself so that I can get the camera overhead and you're not looking at the back of my head. But we do all right with these in the videos. Sometimes they just get a little bit long. There we go. And as you can tell, these, these dry really fast. See, I'm not picking up any of the color and smearing it around on my rock. If you're, if you're doing this with acrylics, be careful. You know, maybe let colors dry a little bit in between and things like that so you don't end up smearing your colors all over the place. But they're definitely achievable. You can definitely be doing these with a, acrylics. I don't know what the outlines, if you have a really steady hand you can maybe do the outlines with a black and a paintbrush but this is something you could maybe use a pen for even if you like to color in with acrylics so I start coloring in with our second color here work our way around just search out those dots that we've got Like so, we've got this one up here. And these areas, you can color them in or you can leave them plain. I actually, see this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes you're gonna keep messing around. Now I do have my finer tip pens here that are good for adding in some of these little details. See, I wanna add that. I wanna have multiple colors in this part here going across, so. Make adjustments as you go along so that it turns out how you want it to turn out. These, thing, these style of rocks has endless, like literally endless ways and things that you can do. 
and I've got a few that I've done I, that I've gone crazy on. I mean, I just work on them for long, long periods of time, and I'm going a little faster on here, obviously, than I do when I'm sitting and, and working on them. But these can be very relaxing for me to work on one. You can walk away for a little bit and come back. Now, you may want to go in and give yourself almost like the anchor point at the top. Now, I didn't make those really big, but just enough, you know, that shows that it's kind of coming from somewhere. I like to, to add a little something in those. Like that, and I got one more over here. And as I was going, I noticed I think this one was supposed to be a little heart here. And really, when you're coloring in hearts, just make a V shape. You can add a little bit more detail to it after the fact. I'm going here and add a little more light blue to this one. Okay, so that's the first round of dangles there are done. So now you can go in with um, your pen and add more dangles. I'm going to use my, my thinner pens to add in some more dangles so it doesn't get too cluttered and I don't run into myself, but you can add these tiny little dangles coming off of your edges, like something like this. You can have a little dangle that comes down here and see with these ones, you can really get in and add some fine little details to your dangles. And this one might even be smaller than I need. There's a lot of different sizes in this pack, but you can just add these tiny little delicate dangles all over the place. And you can add something a little extra off the tips of some of the ones you have if you want to. And then obviously you can go back in on areas that you maybe went over the lines a little bit when you're coloring in, or even if your heart doesn't look quite as heart shaped as you want, just giving a little defining edge to it can really help just that little bit or to give it more of a point at the base. See how much more of a heart that looks just from those couple little spots of black and make sure you get the edges of your cross nice and crisp there so just go along and have fun with this make it your own you can completely do exactly how i did but i mean obviously this has so much room for interpretation and for you to to design exactly what you want and how you like it i'm gonna fill in these couple little dangles we added really quick and then I'm gonna hop off for today. Now I will show the back side of this rock. I don't know if you were there when um, I posted yesterday two rocks. I had this one and then another rock. And everybody voted. And this one won by a decent amount of votes. But I did take step-by-step -step pictures. I try to take step-by-step -step pictures of every rock I'm doing, even if I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not when it's all said and done. So um, here's the back side. This was the other rock. It was a He Has Risen rock. So I did it on the same, same one. I don't know if anybody noticed the shape was so similar when I posted. But I will post the step-by-step -step picture collage of that one later on today. I've got to upload those pictures and, and put them in my um, little frame collage. But I will get that up, so if anybody's interested in doing that one, they'll be able to do that one as well. So we're going to call this one good for now. I might add in a few more dangles, but you don't have to sit here and watch each and every dangle. I think you've got enough to go off of here. Oh, I missed a dot. I'll fill in that dot really quick, and then we're gonna be done for today. There we go, and I see oh, a couple questions here. Yeah, double sided see, sometimes I have double-sided rocks because I have another idea I wanna do, and I haven't washed any more rocks, or I just flip over rocks sometimes. So let's see, what brand of the fine tip? Um, these ones are um, Sakura Pigma. They are in the link above. They're right below where I link to the, the Posca pens. And then these ones I'm using today are the 1Ms. So there's a link to those as well um, in the supplies. 
above. So I hope you guys give this one a try. I'd love, make sure you come back and see, uh, see, share your uh, pictures in the comments because I love to see them. So thanks everybody for joining in live and thanks anybody watching the replay as well. I'll check back on the comments. If you have questions, make sure you leave them there. I see a couple more people coming in. So thanks Teresa, April and Sue for joining in. Um, there is a pack for these. Yes, it's a six pack and they come in six different sizes of tips from, um, they range from an eight to a tiny. Look how tiny that one is. Oops, sorry, I'm out of frame. So they get really itty bitty, but you do have to be careful with these on your rocks. A nice gentle touch. They will wear down over time, but if you're gentle with them, they will last you a decent amount of time. So everybody have a wonderful day. I'm going to take off and I can't wait to see all your dangles. Bye.